Hi guys, Kelvin here. So today we're going to look into the manual mode and I'm going to show you what are the specific functions for and how I actually use the manual mode in two ways to capture motion and to capture low light photography. All right, to activate manual mode, all you got to do is press the M button right here. Most of the time I autofocus, but there are times I actually manual focus. In two situations, number one, when an object is stationary, like landscape or architecture that does not need frequent constant AF. Next up is also close-up photography because the camera tends to focus easily when it comes to distance object but not necessarily when it comes to near object, it gets confused. So you want to help your camera by using manual focus when it comes to close-up photography. Next up is this is where I start to set my exposure. I always use a low ISO because that will give me a clean image. Yes, you can actually use high ISO that grants you high shutter speed to freeze action but there's two drawbacks. Number one, your details will be mushy. Number two, your image will be very noisy if you close up and look to it. Next up is to set the shutter speed. I set the shutter speed accordingly until I get my preferred look, maybe dark or bright. Exposure value here, I tend to leave it alone because you can actually use it to, if you, in the case of you're not sure when it comes to setting up your ISO, it actually overrides the ISO, but and it can help you expose whether you want your image to be a one-third stop brighter or one-third stop darker. But then most of the time, if you are confident, you can just set with ISO and shutter speed and you're good to go. White balance, now if you use a higher value, it makes your image warm. If you use the lower value, it makes your image colder. So I tend to leave it at auto white balance, but I also can set it to manual. So I'm going to set it around 5000-ish, that's great. And I'm going to, it's a little bit too bright now, I'm going to tone down the brightness, nope, up here. And that's it, that's how I take a good image, right here. Now I'm going to show you guys how to take long exposure photography. Now it works in three ways. Number one, you have to set your manual focus because if you set autofocus in a dark situation, the camera may misjudge its focus. So we're going to set a manual focus right here. I already know that it's hyperfocal around here. Next thing is to use the lowest ISO. If image is a little bit dark, it's fine because we're going to use shutter speed to actually long exposure it. That means we have to use a slower shutter speed. In this case, I'm going to do one second. Now I'm going to take a picture and see the results. Now, as you can see, the image is a bit dark, but you can see it's popping out. There's two ways from going from here. You either correctly expose it with the appropriate shutter speed, or you want to wait a little bit longer where the sun totally goes down. You can use a much longer exposure, and you can actually get this water right here to be a mirror image look. In this case, we're going to try a correct exposure right now first, the correct exposure, then I will set accordingly, which is 2 seconds. Now I'm going to take a picture and hope for the best. Now you can see that with 2, two second exposure, the exposure is correct, it's nice. But you notice the water is not silky smooth. So we will wait a little bit longer, then we will use a longer shutter speed. So. And that's how I usually do long uh, exposure photography. I hope you guys learn a thing or two. Thanks and see you in the next episode.